Hi, it's Brad from Low Mountain Audio, and I'm here today with ATC Drivers. And we're here to talk about drivers, and ATC is sort of the conversation about ATC always focuses on the drivers because ATC is of the philosophy that the driver is the single most important thing in a loudspeaker. And of course it makes sense when you think about a transducer, the thing that changes one form of energy to another, the driver, that changes electrical energy into acoustical energy. This is a critical point in the way the signal moves from your recorded medium to your ears. So the drivers play a really important role in how things sound. Now ATC is different than most other loudspeaker manufacturers because they fully engineer, build, and create all their own drivers in-house. That is sort of the way maybe it used to be for a lot of companies, but nowadays very few do it that way. Most everybody buys their drivers OEM. And ATC continues to build all their drivers in-house. And the reason they do that is because the way these designs are put together make them not easy to build in high quantity. It's very, very difficult to build the drivers the way ATC builds them in a large quantity. So ATC uh, can't put, these, these things are not machine made. They're all made by hand by people at the factory at ATC in England. So you have a very unique uh, part here that ATC uses, both in the woofer, mid-range, and tweeter. They create all their own parts and build all their own stuff. So what we wanted to do is sort of show you the physical difference between these drivers, uh, between an ATC and, let's say, somebody else's driver. So what you see here on the table in front of me is a, is a six inch driver that we use in uh, a couple different speakers. This is used in the SCM19, and this is uh, really a high quality part. It's extremely heavy. I mean, you can even see me struggling here. And, you know, look at this motor assembly. I mean, this is, as when I say motor, I mean the magnet part of it, the thing that makes it move. This is a huge driver. Most drivers, sorry, look like this. This is the way most of them look. They have a, essentially, uh, this is a normal size magnet. This would be a normal size motor. This is a stamped frame. This is all kinds of, of features that are less expensive to manufacture easier to manufacture in larger quantity. This is all handmade stuff. This, this, just this casting alone, this metal part you see up here, is a very expensive part, as you can see, compared to the other one. There's no stamped metal here. This is all created by hand. And when you look at the driver, it's very different in that, you know, you can see that it's sort of shiny, and uh, it, it is what they have, a doping on there. ATC is really big on the idea of the well-damped driver to keep the thing under control. And, you know, when you see drivers like this, this particular one, you know, doesn't have any doping. Um, you know, it's just paper. And uh, it's a very different, you know, the things you would do to control the movement of the speaker are different. A lot of it's up to the amp. In this speaker, it's a really well-defined part. So ATC... Low frequency devices are all look like this in the 19, in the uh, 50, 100, 150, almost all of them are built this way. And they are the lowest distortion drivers we know of on the, on the marketplace because they essentially, with this specialized method of short coil, long gap, it's called an engineering and underhung voice coil. But what that means is that if we have an area where the magnet is strong, Let's just say it's between these two points. And we have a coil that's a, a, a wire that's wrapped around the other, the end of the speaker that moves in and out. That needs to stay within this gap where the magnet is strong to keep the distortion low. When this coil begins to exit the gap, meaning the excursion of the driver is so great that the coil actually, the edges of it, leave the gap, that's when you can measure massive increases in harmonic distortion or other forms of distortion that are while they're not just obvious to your ear you can measure them readily and when you sum all that together it clouds the signal and makes it less clear so what atc does is strip as much distortion right out of the driver where the signal starts where the audio starts this is where the electrical input comes in and the acoustical energy comes out this is the critical juncture where you have to get the distortion out once it's in there you can't get it out again you can't remove it through dsp you can't eliminate it 
you have to get rid of it before it even starts. So ATC focuses on this simple idea that by building the best driver possible, you can keep the distortion as low as possible, which will translate through the entire process. If you build a proper crossover, if you build a proper system, cabinet, etc., that doesn't add distortion, this driver in ATC speakers will generate less distortion than almost anything else measurable. What do you hear differently at home? You hear details. It's funny, distortion acts not necessarily as a fuzzy thing or something that uh, makes things sound edgy. Distortion often acts like masking. It sort of covers up details. It's, imagine the veil. We always talk about the veil over the speaker. Well, that is distortion, and that distortion covers everything and removes details because the distortion covers that up. So with an ATC, people say this to me all the time when we do a demo. Wow, I, I hear stuff I've never heard before. You know, things like the echo in the room when a drum is hit, things like the reverb tail from a vocalist who's singing and the echo of her voice, the, the decay of a guitar, all those subtle things that really, when you add them all up, really make for a much more interesting and enjoyable listening experience. So that's a quick little overview of ATC drivers. I wanted to show you these woofers. I'm going to show you a mid-range and a tweeter also, so those will be coming up here in another video. So thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon.